Okay, let me get this straight. <laughs> you don't want to have sex with me because you're afraid it will ruin our marriage. Well, we still have that, that precious element of mystery between us. Why, why risk losing that so soon? Please, don't get upset. Upset? Why would I be upset when I finally have proof that you really love me? Wait, wait, wait. We fit together like we were made for each other, and that scares the hell out of you. Which is exactly why you keep running after Lily every time we're alone. No, I'm trying to help Lily. Yes, that's part of it. But the other part is that you know when we make love again, it'll be perfect. And you'll finally have to admit what you've been trying to deny ever since Halloween, <laughs> that you love me. That's exactly what this is all about. If you're, like, wait, wait, if you're suggesting that the only reason I came all the way here was because I tried to avoid consummating our marriage, then that is ridiculous. So you're not afraid of what will happen when we make love again? Afraid? No, no. Why should I be afraid? Okay. Then prove it, big boy. Come on, I dare you. It is always going to be good for us, Katie. Because I'm good. <laughs> We're dead together. That too. Now, excuse me, I have to go. Simon. <sighs> okay, you know he expects you to follow him, so you might as well just do it. Greetings, Senora Frazier. Um, do I know you? Not yet, but you do not need to fear me. In fact, you can think of me as a Santa Claus. I come bearing gifts. So it's the plan, Julia? You're gonna try to make it look like a suicide? Quit stalling, Carly. It's time to go. Oh, excuse me, I'm not in such a big hurry to die. Even if delaying your death means hastening someone else's? What is that supposed to mean? That you should cooperate, or else. <laughs> or else what? You gonna shoot me harder? Julia, if you kill me, you will lose Jack. Do you know that? And he, and he is what this is all about. He's not gonna forgive you if you hurt me. Oh! <laughs> there will be no clues left for Detective Jack, Carly. And if you don't come with me, there will be no Detective Jack. What have you done? Me? Nothing. But my friend, the explosive as expert? <laughs> Time's a wasted kid. You, you can't get to Jack. He's at the courthouse. They check that place for bombs constantly. He's safe there. Sure. But he has to leave sometime, doesn't he? And when he gets to his car, there just might be a big surprise. When Barbara Ryan was having second thoughts about marrying you, it was Carly Tenney who convinced her to go through with it. Isn't that so? She helped. Because Miss Tenney thought by Barbara marrying you, she would have access to Barbara Ryan originals. That was never discussed. And isn't it true that before you were married, you tried to sell Ms. Ryan on Miss Tenney's designs by passing them off as someone else's. Can you deny that you, long before your marriage, you and Carly Tenney, have been in cahoots and scheming and planning to undo Barbara Ryan and take over her company? We never made any such plan. Oh, so you just improvised. You just made it up as you went along. <laughs> the district attorney isn't even allowing the witness to finish his sentences, let alone answer the question. Forgive me, Your Honor. I will make sure that I give the witness ample opportunity to answer all my questions. Mr. Montgomery, would you agree that, as far as Miss Tenney was concerned, Barbara Ryan was the perfect bride for you? I don't understand the question. Well, let me spell it out for you. Miss Tenney coveted both you and Barbara Ryan's company. So she initiated this plan to take over. What plan? Carly initiated nothing. Really? 
Because from the outside, it would appear that she could have come up with this scheme way back when you met she in Hong Kong. She came up with nothing. But why should we believe you? Because I am telling you, if anybody coveted Barbara and her company, it was me and only me. Ms. Griffin, do you have any more questions for the witness? No, Your Honor. I just wanted to make sure the witness finished his sentence. Mr. Montgomery, did you have any connection whatsoever to the explosion that injured Barbara, your wife? No, I didn't. Thank you. No further questions. The witness may step down. Mr. Winthrop, you may call your next witness. No further witnesses, Your Honor. Then uh, the defense rests. Mr. Winthrop, would you mind explaining to me the meaning of this disruption? If the court would indulge me for just a moment, I hope to answer that question. Mr. Winthrop, if you insist on delaying these proceedings, I will hold you in contempt. Uh, Your Honor, I've just been informed that there's a new witness, oh. one who might shed valuable light on this case. Objection, Your Honor. The DA was never informed of another witness. If you will allow me to call this person, Your Honor, you'll see this is legitimate. All right, Mr. Winthrop, I'll let your witness take the stand. This guy did it. He set the bomb. Uh, the defense calls Owen Dever to the stand, Your Honor.